In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ah, holy Jesus, how hast thou offended that man to judge thee hath in hate pretended by foes derided by thine own rejected o most afflicted who was the guilty who brought this upon thee alas my treason jesus hath undone thee twas i lord jesus i it was denied thee i crucified thee lo the good shepherd for the sheep is offered alas my treason jesus hath undone thee twas i lord jesus i it was denied thee i crucified thee lo the good shepherd for the sheep is offered the slave hath sinned and the son hath suffered for man's atonement while he nothing heedeth god intercedeth for me kind jesus was thine incarnation thy mortal sorrow and thy life's oblation thy death of anguish and thy bitter passion for my salvation therefore kind jesus since i cannot pay thee i do adore thee and will ever pray thee think on thy pity and thy love unswerving not my deserving <clears throat> and this is from the roman catholic daily missile of 1962 Published by Angelus Press, Kansas City, Missouri. Two thousand four. My Lord Jesus, thou hast made this journey to die for me with love unutterable. I have so many times unworthily abandoned thee, but now I love thee with my whole heart. And because I love thee, I repent sincerely for having offended thee. Pardon me, my God, and permit me to accompany thee in this journey. Thou goest to die for love of me. I wish also, my beloved Redeemer, to die for love of thee. My Jesus, I will live and die always united to thee. Stabat Mater Dolorosa, Juxta Crucem Lacrimosa, Dum Appendebat Filius. At the cross her station keeping, stood the mournful mother weeping, close to Jesus to the last. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. Starting on page 35. We adore thee, O Christ, and we praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Pilate said, Behold the man. When the chief priests and the servants had seen him, they cried out, saying, Crucify him, crucify him. He calls himself the Son of God. He has become the censure of our thoughts he is grievous to us even to behold for his life is not like other men's and he abstains from our ways as from filth my people what have i done to thee or in what way have i grieved thee behold i have planted thee as my fairest vine and thou hast become very bitter to me i went before thee as a pillar of cloud and thou hast brought me before Pilate's judgment, the judgment seat. He was offered because it was his own will, and he opened not his mouth. He shall be led as a sleep sheep to the slaughter, and shall be mute as a lamb before his shearer. He shall not open his mouth. He is cut off 
from the land of the living. For the wickedness of his people he was struck. Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. Through her heart his sorrow sharing, all his bitter anguish bearing. Now at length the sword has passed. The second station. Jesus is made to carry his cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Then Pilate delivered him to be crucified, and they took Jesus and led him forth. And bearing his own cross, he went forth to the place which is called Calvary. My people, what have I done to thee? Or in what have I grieved thee? I was thy guide through the desert for forty years, and fed thee with manna, and brought thee into an excellent land, and thou hast prepared a cross for thy Savior. He has borne our infirmities and carried our sorrows, and we have thought him as it were a leper and one struck by God and afflicted. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our sins. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. Every one has turned aside to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. That blessed one, grief laden, blessed mother, blessed maiden, mother of the all blessed one. The third station, we adore thee, O Christ, and we praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. He shall lay down his life for sin. He shall see a long-lived seed, and the will of the Lord shall be prosperous in his hand. But the Lord is now pleased to bruise him in infirmity. O oh, Father, I am afflicted and greatly humbled. I cry aloud because of the sorrow of my heart. Lord, all my longing is known to, to you. My sighs are not hidden from you. My heart beats furiously. My strength is gone. My eyes are dim and dull with weeping and pain. My friends and my companions come within sight of me, but stand aloof. And my neighbors keep far from me. The arrows of thy judgment have sunk deep on me. And thy hand is pressing heavily upon me. There is no soundness in my body because of thine anger. The iniquities of my people, like a flood, have overwhelmed me. Like a crushing burden, they weigh upon me. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. Oh, she stood in desolation, upward gazing on the passion of that deathless dying son. The fourth station. Jesus meets his sorrowful mother. We adore thee, O Christ, and we praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Behold, thy son is set for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and for a sign of contradiction. And your own heart a soul, soul a sword shall pierce, that out of many hearts thoughts may be revealed. Weeping, I have wept in the night, and my tears are on my cheeks, because the comfort of the relief of my soul is taken from me. I have spread forth my hands. There is none to comfort me. I call for my friends, and they deceived me. 
They have become my enemies. My priests and my ancients have rejoiced in my evil. My child is desolate, and the enemy hath prevailed. O oh, all ye that pass by the way, attend and see if there be any sorrow like to my sorrow. Ah, mother, font of love, make me feel the force of thy sorrow. Make me weep with thee. Who is there that could not contem that could contemplate the mother and son in sorrow and not join his own with theirs? Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. Who would see from tears refraining upward gaze Christ, dear mother, uncomplaining, in so great a sorrow bowed. We adore thee, O Christ, and we praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. The fifth station. Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus to carry his cross. As they led him away, they laid hold of one Simon of Cyrene coming from the country. And they laid the cross on him to carry after Jesus. Furious enemies are around me like a herd of oxen. They hem me like fierce bulls. I am drained like water. My bones are weakened. My heart is like melting wax in my breast. Who will arise as my defender against the wicked? Who will stand by me against the workers of iniquity? My heart has endured reproach and misery. I looked for one that would have pity on me, but there was no one. For one that would console me, but I found none. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. Who unmoved behold her languish underneath his cross of anguish, mid the fierce, unpitying crowd? The sixth station. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore thee, O Christ, and we praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. There is no beauty in him nor comeliness, a worm, not a man, the object of man's contempt. We have seen him, and there is no sightliness that we should be desirous of him, despised, rejected, a man of sorrows, and acquainted with grief. His visage was inglorious among men, and his form among the sons of men, whereupon we esteemed him not. All you who seek Christ, lift up your eyes on high to behold a token of his eternal glory. O brightness of the Father's glory, incomprehensible love, by your presence bestow upon us the fullness of your light. Thou art beautiful above the sons of men, grace is poured abroad in thy lips. My heart hath uttered a good word, I speak my words to the King. He is the brightness of eternal light, the unspotted mirror, the image of his goodness. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. For his people's sins, the all-holy, she beheld a victim lowly, bled in torments, bled and die. We are the seventh station. Jesus falls the second time. We adore thee, O Christ, and we praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. I am afflicted and greatly humbled. I roared with the groaning of my heart, my heart is troubled, my strength has left me, and the light of my eyes itself is not with me. Your burning wrath has swept over me, your terrors 
have confounded me. They have encompassed me like water all day long, closing around on every side. You have put far from me friend and neighbor, leaving darkness as my companion. In thee, O Lord, I have hoped. Thou wilt hear me, O Lord, my God, for I am on the verge of ruin, and my sorrow is continually before me. Forsake me not, O Lord, my God. Do not thou depart from me. Attend unto my help, O Lord, the God of my salvation. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. Saw her well, beloved taken, saw her child in death forsaken, heard his last expiring cry. The Eighth Station The women of Jerusalem weep over Jesus. We adore thee, O Christ, and we praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. There followed him a great multitude of people and of women who bewailed and lamented him. Jesus, turning to them, said, Daughters of Jerusalem, weep not over me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. My eyes are consumed with weeping. My entrails boil. My liver is poured upon the earth for the destruction of the daughter of my people. The children say to their mothers, Where is wheat and wine? As they faint away, as wounded in the streets of the city, as they breathe out their souls in the bosoms of their mothers. A voice was heard, lamentation and great mourning. Rachel bewails her children and would not be comforted because they are not. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thine enemy shall beat thee to the ground and thy children who are in thee because thou hast not known the time of thy visitation. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. Fount of love and sacred sorrow, mother may my spirit borrow, sadness from thy holy woe. The ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore thee, O Christ, and we praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. The Lord hath made a vintage of me, as he spoke in the day of his fierce wrath. From above he hath set fire into my bones and hath chastised me. He hath spread a net for my feet. He hath turned me back. He hath made me desolate wasted with sorrow all the day long. O Lord, thou hast placed me in the nethermost pit, in dark places, and in the shadow of death. Thy wrath lies heavily upon me. All thy billows of fury sweep over me. Thou hast removed mine acquaintances far from me. They regard me as an abomination. I am imprisoned and cannot escape. The iniquities of my people are put upon my neck. My strength is weakened. The Lord has delivered me into a hand out of which I am not able to rise. May my spirit burn within me. Love, my God, and great love win me. Grace to please him here below. The tenth station. Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore thee, O Christ, and we praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Who is this that cometh from Eden? in crimson garments from Basra, this beautiful one arrayed in majesty, walking in the greatness of his strength. It is I who announce vindication. 
I, who am mighty to save. Why is then thine apparel red, and thy garments like theirs that tread in the winepress? I have trodden the winepress alone, and of my people there was no one with me. The blood spurted on my garments, all my apparel I stained, for my year of redemption was at hand. O oh, my people, for thy sake I have borne reproach, shame hath covered my face, my foes gaze on me and examine me with malicious delight. They are dividing among them my clothes, and upon my vesture they cast lots. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on me. Those five wounds on Jesus smitten, mother in my heart be written, deep as in thine own they be. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. When they were come to the place which is called Calvary, they crucified him there, and the robbers, one on the right hand and the other on the left. All who pass by and see deride me. They mock me in their words. They wag their heads at me. Like a ravening and roaring lion, they open their mouths to devour me. He hoped in the Lord. Let the Lord come to his rescue. Let the Lord free him if he cares for him. My strength is dried up. My tongue hath cleaved to my jaws, and thou hast brought me down to the dust of death. For enemies, like a pack of dogs, have encircled me. The counsel of the wicked hath besieged me. They have pierced my hands and my feet. They have numbered all my bones. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. Thou my Savior's cross who bearest, Thou thy son's rebuke who sharest, let me share them both with thee. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. It was almost the sixth hour, and there was darkness all over the earth until the ninth hour. And the veil of the temple was rent in two from the top to the bottom. And the earth quaked, and the rocks were split, and the graves were opened. And Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani. O my God, my God, look upon me. Why hast thou forsaken me? Why are the cries of my anguish so far from helping me? I cry by day, and thou dost not answer. I cry in the night time, and no relief comes to me. Have mercy on me, O Lord, my eyes are troubled in thy wrath. My soul and my bowels, my strength is giving way under misery, and my whole body is shaken. I am forgotten like one that is dead. I am cast aside like a broken vessel. It is consummated, Father. Into thy hands I commend my spirit. And Jesus, bowing his head, gave up the ghost. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. In the passion of my maker, be my sinful soul partaker, weep until death weep with thee. The thirteenth station. Jesus is taken down from the cross 
and placed in the arms of his mother. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless, praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Let the evening come suddenly upon the whole heavens, and let the astonished sun dispatch the day, while we contemplate the spectacle of the true death and the divine tragedy. My people, what have I done to thee, or in what have I grieved thee? I opened a way through the sea before thee, and thou hast opened my side with the spear. With what a flood of tears, with what sorrow, is the grief-stricken virgin mother overwhelmed? While she beholds her son lying in her arms after being taken down from the bloody tree, full of sorrow, she bathes with her tears his sweet lips, his gentle breast, his most dear side, his pierced right hand, his wounded left, and his feet red with blood. O oh, mother, we beseech thee, by these tears, by the cruel death of thy son, and by the purple of his wounds, plant deep in our hearts the grief of thine own heart. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. Mine with thee be that sad station, there to watch the great salvation, wrought upon the atoning tree. The fourteenth station. Jesus is laid in the sepulchre. We adore thee, O Christ, and we praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. There was in the place where he was crucified a garden, and in the garden a new sepulchre. There, because of the Passover of the Jews, they laid Jesus. This day shall be a memorial for you. This is the passage of the Lord. I will execute judgment, for I am the Lord. And this blood shall be unto you a sign, and I shall see the blood, and shall pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. Behold, in peace is my bitterness transformed. Thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, nor wilt thou give thy Holy One to see corruption. Hell shall not confess to thee, neither shall death praise thee, nor shall they that go into the abyss look for thy truth. The living, the living shall give praise to thee, as I do this day. Blessing and honor, glory and power unto him that sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb, who hath redeemed us to God by his blood for ever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. Virgin, thou of virgins fairest, may the bitter woe thou sharest make on me impression deep. O God, who by the passion of thy Christ, our Lord, hath undone the bonds of death, the inheritance of man's first sin, into which his whole race was entered, grant that made like him we who of necessity have borne the likeliness of earthly nature, may by his sanctifying power put on the likeness of his divine grace through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thus Christ dying may I carry with him in his passion tarry, and his wounds in memory keep. May his wounds transfix me wholly, may his cross and lifeblood holy mortify my heart and mind, thus inflamed with pure affection in the virgin sun protection. May I at the judgment find. When in death my limbs are failing, let thy mother's Prayer prevailing, lift me, Jesus, to thy throne. To my parting soul be given, entrance through the gate of heaven. There confess me for thine own. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, you said, Ask, and you shall receive. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it will be open to you. Grant, we beseech you, give to us who ask the gift 
of thy most divine love and ever trusting in thy saving death with all our heart grow in faith hope and love and by our every word and work may we love you and never cease to praise you amen Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified dead and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. O oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all my sins because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell, but most of all because they have offended thee, my God, who are all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of thy grace, to confess my sins, to do penance, and to amend my life. Show gracious favor, O Lord, we pray, to the works of penance we have begun during this Lent, that we may have strength to accomplish with sincerity the bodily observances we undertake, and grant that we may grow in faith, hope, and love, and in generosity and almsgiving according to our means, ever deepening our life of prayer, and abstaining from those things we do not need to glorify you. O oh, Father, through your Son and the power of the Holy Spirit, this is, we ask through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We offer, O oh Lord, the meditation upon the passion of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ which is the great sacrifice of our Lenten observance. We pray that we may make our intentions acceptable to you at all time and be transformed by the power of your grace and deepen by your grace our powers of self-restraint, deepen ever our repentance in joyful penance. We ask this through Christ our Lord. <coughs> For your mighty deeds, O God of mercy, may your people offer endless thanks, and by observing the age-old disciplines along their pilgrim journey, may they come and behold you forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord has heard and has had mercy on me. The Lord became my helper. Psalm 29, 11 and 2. I will extol you, O Lord, for you have upheld me. You have not made my enemies rejoice over me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
The Lord heard and had mercy on me. The Lord became my helper. Further with your gracious grace, O Lord, we beg you, the fast which we have begun, that the bodily observance which we keep, we may be able also to practice with sincere intention, through Christ our Lord. Amen. From Isaiah 58. Is this the fast that I have chosen for a man to afflict his soul for a day? Is this it? To wind his head about like a circle and to spread sackcloth and ashes? Will you call this a fast, a day acceptable to the Lord? Is not this rather the fast that I have chosen? Loose the bonds of wickedness and undo the burdens that oppress. And let those who are broken go free and break asunder every burden. Give out your bread to the hungry and bring the needy and the homeless into your house. When, they shall see, when you see one who's naked, cover him and do not despise your own flesh. Then shall your light break forth as the morning and your help shall be speedily arising and your justice shall go before your face and the glory of the Lord shall gather you up then shall you call and the Lord shall hear you will cry and he shall say here I am for I the Lord your God am merciful O Lord, preserve your people, and in your mercy cleanse them. As we meditate upon the suffering and passion and death of your Son, grant that we may be filled with the grace of his resurrection and prepare ourselves during this Lent to celebrate fittingly his conquest of death. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh, sacred head surrounded by crown of piercing thorn, O oh, bleeding head so wounded, reviled and poor to scorn, death's pallid hue comes o'er thee, the glow of life decays, yet angel hosts adore thee, and tremble as they gaze. I see thy strength and vigor, all fading he in the strife, and death with cruel rigor, bereaving thee of life, O oh, agony undying, O oh, love to sinners free. Jesus, all grace applying, O oh, turn thy face to me. In this thy bitter passion, Good shepherd, think of me. With thy most sweet compassion, Unworthy though I be, Beneath thy cross abiding, Forever would I rest, In thy dear love confiding, and with thy presence bless. And these hymns were from 401 through 403, from the Adoramus hymnal, produced by Adoramus in cooperation with the Church Music Association of America, by Ignatius Press, San Francisco. 1997. God of mercy and compassion, 
look with pity upon me. Father, let me call thee father, tis thy child return to thee. Jesus, Lord, I ask for mercy. Let me not implore in vain all my sins I now detest them. Help me never sin again. See our Saviour bleeding, dying on the cross of Calvary. To that cross my sins have nailed him, yet he bleeds and dies for me. Jesus, Lord, I ask for mercy. Let me not implore in vain all my sins. I now detest them. Help me never sin again. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, from the ninth chapter, the 14th, 15th verses. The disciples of John approached Jesus and said, Why do we fast, and the Pharisees fast much? But your disciples do not fast. Jesus answered them, Can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. from the Magnificat of February 2024, volume 25, number 12, page 265. Mighty is the Lord to save, come let us adore him. Good Jesus, for the love of souls, decreed a time of penitence and place within the yearly round the fast of Lenten abstinence. Let those who fell from virtue's peak through wiles of worldly appetite may by stern discipline and fast be brought again to heaven's height. Be mindful now of holy church and offer penitence sincere who beg with humble abstinence their sinful souls be scoured clear. Forgive the sins that they have done Offenses of the past repair, and in the future, Lord, we pray, sustain us with your steadfast care. And when our fasting time is done, and Lenten abstinence complete, may we approach the Easter feast with guiltless joy and gladness sweet. Jeremiah 33, 10-11. There shall yet be heard the cry of joy, the cry of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom, the voice of the bride, the sound of those who bring thank offerings to the house of the Lord, singing, Give thanks to the Lord of hosts, for the Lord is good, his mercy endures forever. For I will restore this country as of old, says the Lord. Luke 12, 36. Be like servants who await their master's return from a wedding, ready to open immediately when he comes and knocks. As we prepare to celebrate the resurrection of the Lord, let us pray to him, Hear your servants, O Lord. For the church, <laughs> prepare us through the season of Lent to live the life of Easter to the full. Hear your servants, O Lord. For our pastors and teachers, deepen their desire to lead your people to holiness. Hear your servants, O Lord. For those who have gone before us in death, raise them to the Easter joy you desire for all your people. Hear your servants, O Lord. May the Lord God bless us in all that we undertake. Amen. Deuteronomy 14, 29. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.